It's a heavyweight collision between John Jones and Henry the Messenger Cejudo. The Olympic gold medalist, UFC flyweight champion, and again, you talk about work ethic. That conversation begins with the messenger, Henry Cejudo. It absolutely does. As a young boy, Henry understood that he wanted goals bigger than any high school kid should chase. So he moved to the Olympic Training Center, and he trained with me as I was getting ready for the Olympic team prior as a little kid because he knew winning an NCAA title wasn't enough for him. Ultimately, he became Olympic champion, the youngest in U.S. history, and now he's the UFC champion. What a career by Henry Cejudo. All right, so here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans, and the Rampage Jacksons, and then you have myself, Alexander Gustafsons. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent, and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well, in terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time. And of course, as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 33 with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Greco-Roman wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, Henry the Messenger Zahudo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is make it fun. resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. 
All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Great punch landing with so much power. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, beautiful hook there. champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title left on the edge. Strong outside leg right kick. Oh, wow. Oh! in the fight. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. So hudo has got the tie clinch now. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Jones gets touched by that kick there. And he defends another takedown there, so it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him done. Great balance. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Single collar tie now. Big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now on a quick entry. Great single entry. Won't taste the high crunch. He's taking for a ride. Hand fight, hand fight. Jones is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Cejudo. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Jones's pass attempt denied. Now he's able to isolate that left arm. Look for him to step over the top of the... Oh. Now he falls back into the finishing position. side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Oh man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem with the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night would be over, and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. 
but this man's just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. All right, five minutes in the can. Here we go now with the start of round two. John Jones versus Henry Cejudo. Beautiful leg kick throw. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh! Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Side control now. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Sahuda. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. We march on three minutes to go. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Jones. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. We call on the fight stats here. These numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 51 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. And in terms of the connection rate, if you care, 71% accuracy thus far against Henry Cejudo. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right! Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh. oh, my God. He switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top by Jones. 90 seconds and counting in round two. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why. He's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Johnny Bone. 60 seconds now to go in the fight. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Oh, and he lands another huge knee that changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single, got to a high crotch. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique, what a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the broadcast. I mean, right there, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 20 seconds to go. 
Cejudo's has got full mount now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by the ever improved Henry Cejudo. Hey, stop. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Take a seat. Breathe and relax. I need you to suck it up this one, okay? If you're missing those takes. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Tags him with the left. Oh, collar tie. Ooh, oh, big knee. And a knee. Finish could come here at any time. Whoa! Back to the feet. And that one was heavy. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Johnny Bone. Cejudo's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. The ground and pound has been there all night. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Push on him, push on him! Push on the well, this is exciting what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Cejudo. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Cejudo. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Ninety-four total strikes have now landed for Henry Cejudo. And the accuracy numbers landing at a 73% clip tonight thus far against John Jones. Just over two minutes to go in the round. You're looking great, baby. Cejudo's got the tie clinch. Wow. Let's see what he can do. Got the takedown. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Ground and pound strike is true. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Man, how 
how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. I mean, how many can he take? Hey, scramble, get up! Scramble, scramble, get up! 30 seconds to go. 30 more seconds, we can do it, let's go! 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Oh, what a punch. Oh, big knee! Back to the feet! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And now he's got the tie clinch. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Battle for position here. Oh, a single collar tie oh. there. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! That is it. Oh! And there comes the stoppage. He got it. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched up. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We set it inside the octagon once more. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at one minute, nine seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, John Bones Jones! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.